Hey everybody, welcome to Structures Pearl, episode one. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Welcome to our first episode ever. This is the first Scrumptious Pearl podcast episode. I'm super excited. I have been wanting to do this for an extremely long time and I just haven't had the courage or haven't had the time and I'm finally sitting down and doing it. Um, my name is Samantha. I am the owner of Scrumptious Pearl Yarns. I currently live in Montreal, Quebec, which is in Canada with my boyfriend and our very rambunctious border collie who is right here right now and is very upset that I am doing this and not paying attention to him. Um, we will be relocating shortly to Toronto. That's actually a big reason why I decided to sit down and finally do this. I don't have much of a community in Toronto. Um, and I definitely don't have much of a knitting community in Toronto. So I'm excited to hopefully meet people through this and to continue talking about fiber and everything that I love on a daily basis. <laughs> um, I'll kind of get into a bit more of my knitting journey and a bit more about me at the end of the episode, but I know everyone's here for the knitting, so let's get right into that. All right. So let's get started with works in progress. I have quite a few works in progress. I normally do. I'm not a monogamous knitter by any means. Uh, I normally have a sweater, a shawl, and then I'll say a couple of socks, but the true answer to that is probably like five socks. So I'll show you my first project. All right, so this is in a new project bag that I actually recently got. It's by Danica Studio. And I purchased it off of the, here's the label if you guys want to see. Okay, so I purchased it off of Nitpick's website and I wasn't really looking for it. I just kind of saw it and it struck my eye and I really liked it. So I bought it and I really like it. It's a really great size. Um, I think that it'll be able to hold a lot, like a sweater. Well, actually, that's exactly what it's holding right now. Duh. Um, but yeah, even a blanket probably. So I really like this. Good purchase. Uh, so the first project that I have is this. All right. So the pattern is Puntia by Hohi Locatelli. And this is what mine looks like. It's like filling up the screen. <laughs> All right, so I did a bit of a variation on the pattern. Her pattern is one solid color with a contrasting color at the trim uh, with a really beautiful little lace panel and stuff. I actually am knitting this because I saw Hey Rachel Makes from the Hey Sister podcast. I think that's it. I might be making that up. I think maybe it's just Rachel. Anyways, so Rachel from Hey Sister podcast had knit a version of it where she striped it and it looked gorgeous. I fell in love with it when I saw it and I needed my own. So I um, am using, show it a bit closer. So the striped yellow is Mimosa in Tannis Fiber Arts Red Label. And then this pink color here, this like beautiful soft pink. Oh my gosh, I love it. it is called Trinity. And that's also by Tannis Fiber Arts in Pure Wash Fingering White. Um, Tannis is actually the one who convinced me to mix the bases and I love it. It's, it's really cool. I like that the red label has a really nice glow to it and it'll probably fluff up a bit more as well. So it'll have a nice halo to it and the Trinity is a lot more matte. So it's got a good contrast to it. I'm currently working on a sleeve. So I just picked this up. And um, yeah, it's going well. I knit my sleeves the same way that I knit my socks. I don't mind DPNs, but they're not my favorite. And I really don't in like don't enjoy magic loop. It's just not my preferred method for anything. I never end up finishing a project if I'm doing it magic loop. So I actually do two needles of the exact same size. Um, and it's like doing a two needle sock. So basically, I keep these stitches always on, uh, whoops. <laughs> I keep those stitches always on one needle and then the front stitches are on a separate needle and it's a really fun way to knit it. I think that it goes really well and I don't get a ladder when I do it that way. So yeah, 
that's that. I'm knitting what the pattern recommended. I believe it's a 3.5, and then um, I did my rib in a three millimeter. Okay, next up is a shawl that I have been loving. I love this project so much, and I am not looking forward to it ending. I think that's why I'm working on it pretty slowly, actually. Um, all right, so the project bag that it is currently living in is this zigzag stitches bag that I love. Look how cute this is, guys. Which one? Where is he? I have one on this side. He's wearing glasses. Come on, how cute is that? All right, so the shawl that I am knitting is called Hollows, and that is a Mandarin pattern. She's the designer. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. It's so nice. Okay, so I am using, again, I think 3.75. Yeah, 3.75 needles on this. Um, I'm a bit of a loose knitter, so I tend to knit my shawls on 3.5s or 3.75s as opposed to 4s. Again, sorry, millimeters, not US. Um, I don't know if, if you guys have watched the Tannis Fiber Arts podcast. I actually spoke about this with Tannis on hers. Um, and we were talking about the colorway, how Chris had specially dyed it up for me. And yeah, so it's just a really special project. And I really wanted it to be something that I would wear a lot. And it will be. This is really something that I will be wearing often. I still have a whole bunch. There you go. A whole bunch of yarn left. So I actually... I don't know, I'm debating. I'm debating because I'm in the last repeat that the pattern calls for right now, so I could finish it pretty soon, and then I could maybe even knit myself a pair of socks with the rest of it, or I could just make this shawl huge. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. Next up is socks. I am a sockaholic, and I'm totally fine with admitting that. I cast on socks like it's no one's business, and I normally knit one, as you will see in the next couple of minutes. And then I kind of just like accumulate one of each and then I go back and I finish the second one. So it's not a big deal, I end up finishing them. I just knit a bunch at once. I'm currently working on two socks. Uh, the first one that I'm working on is living in this little project bag. It's so cute, I love it. It's a TFA Pure Wash bag, so if you order, Pure Wash from Tannis, and you order more than three skeins, you get one of these, so perk. Um, all right, so this is the colorway that I'm working on right now. It is a scrumptious pearl colorway, and I have a contrasting cuff. I'm gonna do the same for the heel and the toes, and the colorway is called Be Our Guest, and it's on the glam base. So it's the, it's trying to focus on my face. There you go. All right, so it's the um, Beauty and the Beast colorway, as I just said, and this color here is the coordinating color that goes with it. This one isn't in a glam. Um, when, you, when you buy it, if you buy them from me, the coordinating mini is the same base as the yarn that you purchase, so if you purchase the Stripe Me Up base, you get a Stripe Me Up mini, and if you purchase a glam base, you get a glam mini. I just didn't have a glam mini, and so I cast on with the regular one, that's all. Um, as I said, I knit my socks on two needles. I just prefer it, I find I knit them faster this way, it's easy to get the heel done, and yeah, I just really like this method. I find it works really well, so that's that. Um, I uh, pretty much exclusively knit my socks on 2.25s, um, which is US, let me see if I can find it. A US one. So a US one. Pretty much what I make my socks on. And this is the first one. So yeah. Alright, next up is my second sock, which is living in this bag right now. I love this bag. Okay, so this is actually not really specifically a project bag. It's a Vera Bradley bag that I bought when I was in Disney on vacation once. And I love it. It's I think it's probably supposed to be like a cosmetic bag, like the inside is like that plasticky stuff. And um, yeah, it's perfect for knitting. It's awesome and it's waterproof, so your knitting's always safe. The sock that I have in here is 
Oh my gosh, I'm loving this sock right now. So this colorway is a new colorway for me. It's Scrumptious Pearl and it's actually, so I'm having an update today. This podcast will be going up after that, but um, it'll be, this colorway will be available again. So it's this color here. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. All right, so the colorway is called Incantation. And I actually put it in this Disney bag because I find that it kind of goes together. I've been reading a lot of fairy tales lately. I kind of got into them again after seeing the Beauty and the Beast movie. And yeah, I just kind of found that they went together. So this is what it looks like knit up. So it's a six stripe repeat and I'm really liking it. I love the way that it looks. I think it's really pretty. Um, it's not my standard color combination, so I thought that was cool to try something new. And I think these are gonna be for me, because I really like them. Yeah, that's that. So those are all my works in progress. Um, I don't have any finished objects this week. I didn't finish anything, because the two main projects that I'm working on are pretty big. I think I'll probably be finished the sweater by next week, though. But I do have some hose, though. So I'll show you guys those. So I have three hoes this week. Um, they're all socks, <laughs> obviously. They're a hoe, the half object. Uh, yeah, so they're, like, as I said, I knit my socks um, pretty much one at a time. I knit like 10 different ones, and then I go back and I knit the second one. Unless I'm knitting specifically for someone, like I just finished two pairs, one for my boyfriend Shane, and one for our friend Taylor, because they were leaving on a trip and I thought they could use new socks for their trip, so I, I knit those back to back. But once for myself, I just kind of accumulate them because I don't need any more hand knit socks at the moment. I just knit them for fun. So I accumulate them and then kind of like loop my way back around and knit the second one. So the first one that I have here, this is called Egg Hunt. And it was part of our spring collection. Yeah. Uh, oh, I also, I get asked a lot what sock pattern I use, and I don't really use a sock pattern. Um, I kind of just go with the flow. So basically what I do is for myself, I cast on 64 stitches, and then I knit a 20 row uh, cuff, two by two rib, and then I knit, um, well, okay, so with my yarn, I knit four repeats. I, I, don't, I don't even know. I mean, I guess it's probably like six inches probably like about six inches. Um, and then I kind of vary with my heel. I switch back and forth between like three of them. Um, this one's just like a standard um, heel flap. And then I have a couple of other ones I can show you here. So this is another hoe that I have. So this one is called Full Bloom, the colorway. Um, I'm a really big vanilla sock fan. I just find it's easy to knit and then I just always know what I'm doing. I don't need a pattern with me or anything. So again, this time I'm using the contrasting um, color for the cuff, heel, and toe. And I did a fish kiss lips heel on this one. I always get that name mixed up. I never know if it's fish lips kiss, fish kiss. It's fish kiss lips, I believe, I think. <laughs> So that's what I used for this one. I love this heel. This is a great heel. Um, I find it fits well. It's easy to memorize when you kind of get used to it. Yeah, I really like it. And then I don't have a sock right now with an afterthought heel, but that's the third heel that I really enjoy using as well. Um, I find it looks really good on stripy socks and it's fun to do as well. It's cool that you can just kind of like cut into your sock afterwards. You feel like you're doing a bit of sock surgery on it and stuff, so. Yeah, let's see. Those are the three heels that I use primarily. Um, the last hoe that I have is this one. And I really love it. It's a um, another one of our springtime colorways. And yeah, same thing again, 20 cuff um, and standard gusset heel. And that's that. So those are my three hoes. Um, I'm kind of getting to that space where I have about 10 socks right now, so I'm gonna need to go back 
and knit the second one <laughs> because otherwise I'm gonna have a bunch of lonely socks for a very long time. All right, so now let's talk about some acquisitions that I got this week. You guys have actually already seen one. That Danica Studio project bag was one of them. Um, I ordered it when I ordered this next item that you're gonna see and um, it was just kind of like an impulse buy, but I'm really happy with it. So I finally took the plunge. Another thing about me is I am obsessed with interchangeable needle kits. <laughs> I really, I knit a lot so I don't feel bad about investing in them because I use them, um, but I definitely like to try the new ones that come out for sure. Uh, so the one that I bought <laughs> is a Knit Picks kit. So it's this one. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of glare there. Let's see if you guys can see if it's like my face is. All right, there you go. So these are the squared. Yeah, so they're called four square interchangeables. Uh, I've been hearing about these for a while. I took a, a set out to show you guys just because I didn't want to have to open the package on camera. It's kind of noisy. So they're actually cubed. I don't know if you can really see it in the video, but the maybe if I show it this way. No, that's ridiculous. That's not gonna focus. What am I doing? Um, yeah, so basically the needle is square. Uh, I have been hearing about these for quite a few years now, and apparently they're more ergonomic for your hands. Um, as I said, I knit a lot, so I do get pains in my hands sometimes from knitting. So I thought it would be fun to kind of try these out. And I haven't tried them yet. I literally just received them. I got them yesterday, I think. So I'm gonna give them a try on my next project. And then I think I might do a review video on them for you guys and let you know what I think about them. Um, the project that I have in mind to cast on actually goes with another acquisition. Um, I think I'm gonna be casting on a shawl by Casa Pinka and the shawl is called Wool and Waves. It is so beautiful. When it came out, I fell in love with it. I wanted it right away. So I have the kit for it. So it was knit, um, I think from what I understand, I think Miss Babs made a kit for the pattern. Yeah, I think that's the way it was. I don't think the kit was out and then Casa Pinka made the pattern. I think the kit was made for the pattern. Um, that made no sense. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> the kit and the pattern go together, essentially. So this is what it looks like. Um, I didn't want to take it out of the packaging for you guys because it would have been hard to hold up. So that's what it looks like. Um, you, this is the, these are the minis for it and then you also have a silver color that goes with it. So I have that in my stash as well um, that I'll be using with it. And I love it. I think these minis are so cute. They're perfect for the springtime. So yeah, I think that's gonna be my next cast on. The last thing that I got is actually something that Tannis and I ordered together. We tend to impulse buy when we're together and this one, actually, it's funny I say that because this one wasn't an impulse buy. We had actually kind of been stocking this shop for a while and then both of the items that we wanted kind of came up and we decided to get them. So I got, it's from a company called Quarry. They're on Etsy. Is it focusing? Kind of, I don't know. All right, so it's a self-striping, which is ironic because I make self-striping yarn, but this is a 20 stripe repeat. That is crazy. I, oh my goodness, I would not do that. So I'm really happy that someone else does it and I can buy it. So this color is called Let's Dress Crazy. It is gorgeous knit up. It doesn't look like much in the skein, but it's, it's a beautiful color. I'm excited to cast these on. This will probably be the next sock cast on that I have. So that's about it for the knitting part of the show. I guess we can move on to chit chat. Um, yeah, so as I said, um, we currently live in Montreal, but we're gonna be moving to Toronto and we're really excited. It's, um, it's a fun move. It's not the first time that we're gonna be um, moving. We've moved before for work. So we kind of know what to expect and we're kind of used to the expat life a little bit. 
This one's a little different though. Last time we moved, um, we moved to Malta, which is a story for another time because I could go into detail about that. Um, and this time we're just moving to Toronto. So it's still in Canada, um, a very similar lifestyle to one that we're living currently just a new city so we get to meet new people and try new things and we're really excited about that. Um, I have been knitting for a while. I, I learned to knit when I was a little girl, typical knitting story. My mom taught me and then I kind of got back into knitting when I was about 18 years old and then I've been knitting pretty much every day since then. So for the last 10 years I have been knitting every day. And I love it. I, everyone keeps asking me, they're like, aren't you, haven't you knit all the things? Like, aren't you fed up yet? I'm like, no, it just gets worse actually. If anything, I'm more obsessed today than I uh, was yesterday and I'll be more obsessed tomorrow than I was today. So I'm still really enjoying it. Um, I've had the chance to work in the industry for um, the last almost seven years. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Um, I started working at Espace Tricot, which is an amazing store. It's here in Montreal. It's in a suburb of, not really a suburb, it's in a borough of Montreal called NDG. It's a beautiful shop. I highly suggest checking it out if you're in Montreal or online actually. They have a really great online store. Um, so I worked there part-time during university and then I worked there full-time after university and I loved it. It's a beautiful shop. Lisa and Melissa are amazing. They also have a podcast if you want to go and check that out. Hi ladies, if you're watching this. Um, yeah, and then I've worked with Tannis and Chris from Tannis Fiber Arts uh, for the last year. And that has been really, really fun and rewarding and great. And I'm sad to see the year end. I, I, The only reason that I'm unfortunately leaving them is because we're leaving Montreal. So I can't, I couldn't stay on with them but uh, we will definitely be in touch on a daily basis and I'm excited to see them when I come home to Montreal and hopefully they'll come and visit us in Toronto too. They have family there, so I'm sure they'll come and make a little pit stop. Um, other than that, uh, what else? Um, Scrumptious Pearl is something that I have been loving for the last three years. I, I won't go into too much detail about how that got started on here because that could literally be its own video um, so maybe I'll film that actually in the next couple of weeks for you guys but uh, yeah I'm I'm loving it I'm actually scrumptious pearl will be moving to Toronto with me so that's exciting um, it has become a full-on family business <laughs> so my mom Stephanie actually works with me and she does a whole bunch of work for me. Oh my gosh. She, guys, she is like the reason that orders get out and um, that the dyeing is happening. She's great, she's really good at it and she loves it as well. So she's been working with me for like two years now and my brother works with me as well actually. He helps with um, a lot of the prep work and he is invaluable now also. So it's really fun, it's nice that they kind of get to be a part of this and we get to spend time together working on stuff and yeah it's been a great experience um I'm excited to see what happens in the next little while now that I'm pretty much going to be doing that full time so that's fun and yeah I mean that's pretty much it for right now oh I'm actually going to be in um Toronto <laughs> next weekend but for the fiber frolic so uh the fiber frolic the knitters frolic so if any of you guys are going to be there, please come and say hi. I would love to meet you. I'm really excited um, to come and check out the city and to kind of meet the knitting community of Toronto while I'm there. Kind of worked out perfectly timing wise, so that's really exciting. And yeah, I'll probably film a little bit there as well and then have a video after that. So. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for coming and watching this show. Um, if you're still around at the end of this episode, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh gosh, I don't know how this went. We'll see. Um, I'm really happy that I get to share my love of knitting with everyone. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see where this goes. So have a great weekend. Enjoy and I'll see you again next week. Bye.